we've called webinar two time for action because it's interesting how much can change over the course of a year. So we started looking at the carbon credits market in 2022. There was a number of significant events with carbon credits that came through in January of 2023. But in March, the IPCC launched their synthesis report, which is the last report up to 2030, which made it very clear that what I would call net zero max is the only way that we're going to achieve that 1.5 target by 2030. And what it means is carbon credits, which primarily will come from the voluntary carbon markets, their significance in carbon reduction in achieving that goal has suddenly changed. So we're putting a lot of emphasis and a lot of focus on carbon credits to decarbonize. But that throws up a number of scenarios because as you'll find out through the course of these webinars, the markets do not operate or are not constructed in the way normal markets would. And there is some perverse incentives. So in this webinar, we're looking at the IPCC report, what scenarios that means in terms of carbon reduction, and what it means for net zero companies as they try to look ahead for the next year or two years or five years to develop a credible net zero strategy utilizing carbon credits.